Hello, and welcome to Pro Tools 11, the new standard for audio production. In this video, we're going to look at the number one requested new feature for Pro Tools 11, Offline Bounce. Faster than real-time Offline Bounce expands on the Bounce to Disk feature of Pro Tools and gives the user several different options to deliver your files at speeds up to 150 times faster than real-time. Offline Bounce is a feature included with all versions of Pro Tools 11, including Pro Tools HDX. Being that the new Avid Audio Engine is based on the AAX plugin format, any HDX DSP plugin that has a native equivalent can be rendered offline, including Heat, an HDX only feature. So now, let's take a look at bouncing a final mix and go over the new features. Going to the File menu in Pro Tools, we select Bounce to Disk, and the Bounce dialog box comes up. Here, we can choose our bounce source, which can be any physical output or bus. Next, we choose what file type we want the bounce to be, and as an added new feature, an MP3 file can be created simultaneously. Then, you can choose the file's format, bit depth, and sample rate. There are choices for the file to be imported back into the session after the bounce, added to your iTunes library, and can even be shared directly with Gobbler or SoundCloud. At this point, you can also enter a file name that will be appended with the name of the bounce source if you so choose. Another new feature that was much requested is that a Bounced Files folder is created automatically in the Session folder for convenience. You can override this by clicking on Choose Directory and setting your own path. Now, down at the bottom of the dialog box is a checkbox for Offline Bounce. Checking this box and clicking Bounce starts the faster than real-time process. Depending on the speed of your computer and the complexity of the session, the Bounce can process at speeds from real-time up to 150 times real-time. You can see that this session, even with all the plugins and virtual instruments, bounces at over 10 times real time. This will be a huge time saver for anyone that has to deliver mixes or stems from their sessions, especially if you have to do this multiple times a day. Now that we've seen the basics on how this new feature works, let's take a look at using it in some other workflows. Those working on radio programs have long asked for a faster than real time bounce feature, as these shows usually don't have many tracks and can be over two hours in length. With the offline bounce feature in Pro Tools 11, the time saved on this type of session can be exponential. As you can see, this session consists of two stereo music tracks and a narration track, along with a few plugins and automation. But even with the show lasting over one hour, the bounce speed is over 100 times real time and it only takes around 30 seconds to render. This feature will be a game changer for those using Pro Tools for radio programming. The next scenario we want to look at is track rendering. Even with the new Avid Audio Engine and 64-bit architecture, there will be times you might want to render a VI track to audio to save on resources. With the new faster than real-time offline bounce feature in Pro Tools 11, this is a simple task to accomplish. Let's go through this step by step. First, you will want to create a bus in the I.O. setup to be used as a VI render bus. Next, instantiate that bus as a send on the VI track you would like to render. Then make the bus a prefader send and set the level to its default nominal level setting. This will make sure not to take into account the track's output fader setting or any volume automation that is present. To prepare the track to render, you can optionally make the inserts after the VI plugin inactive as not to render those effects into the file. Then, make sure the track name is highlighted before moving on, as well as selecting all of the clips on the timeline for that track. Once this is all set, right-click on the Send pane and select Bounce VI Render. This is a new shortcut in Pro Tools 11 that opens up the Bounce to Disk dialog box. You can do this on any send or output pane to bounce from that particular path. Make sure the bit depth and sample rate match those of the session and check Import After Bounce. Check Offline Bounce and commence the bounce. In no time, the track is rendered and a dialog comes up asking where to import the new file. Select the destination as New Track and the location as Selection. The new file is placed on the track right after the VI track. Now, you can move the inactive inserts to the new track and reactivate them. You can also copy the volume automation of the VI track to the new track as well. Once this is done, you can right-click on the VI track and select Hide and Make Inactive to save on the resources, but keep the track in the session in case you need to go back and make changes at a later date. This quickly becomes second nature and is an easy process for rendering virtual tracks to audio. Pro Tools HD11 has some extra enhancements to the offline bounce feature that will be of benefit to music and post professionals alike. In this example, we are working on a post session and need to deliver multiple multi-channel output sources. 
With Pro Tools HD11, we have the ability to offline bounce up to 16 multi-channel sources in a single pass. These can be as wide as 7.1 interleaved or multi-mono files. By right-clicking on the first source we want to bounce, this brings up the Bounce to Disk dialog box. In the HD version of software, you have a plus sign that you can click to add additional sources to bounce. For this session, we need to deliver multi-channel files for dialog, music, effects, foley, and the final printmaster mix. You can see that all of these sources are 5.0 and 5.1 channels wide. We then can check the import after bounce to bring the stem files back into the session for archive or to export out to another program, such as Media Composer, for final layback to video. As you can see, there are quite a few ways to use the new offline bounce feature in Pro Tools 11. Any range of users, from music producers and artists, radio show editors, and professional post and music mixers can all benefit from adding this new time-saving functionality to their workflow. This great feature, along with all the other exciting enhancements and additions, help to make Pro Tools 11 the new standard for audio production.